Hi, welcome. I'm Tommy Holst, and this is the Dropcast Movie Poster Podcast Release Edition. Today, I have a very talented illustrator with me, and uh, he did some uh, really cool stuff for Hero Complex Gallery, and he's getting more and more into the uh, more known galleries. But um, I cannot wait until this happens. But before that, I'll give you a really cool poster of Atonement by him, which is digital only so far, but um, if you see it, I know there will be a reverse private commission to get that printed. I have a good, strong feeling about this one. And afterwards, um, I will be talking with James about the latest releases. Um, we thought uh, there were not that many releases in the last two weeks, but it turned out last minute a couple came in and uh, we will have some fun. We have the James approved, the Hobson approved stamp for you as well. So stay tuned, smash that like button because we really appreciate it. To the guests of the show, the headliner, Mr. Neil Davies. How are you doing, man? Hey. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing really good, thanks. Um, thanks for having me on, Thomas. Uh, My pleasure, man. Honor. It's, um, i got to say right off the bat, thank you for the podcast. I, I think this is one of the best things I've seen oh, in thank the you. whole movie poster community that I've sort of somehow become a part of. And uh, Yeah, yeah. I, on behalf of all the artists that you've had on, I think this has been an amazing way of getting our work out there and i really want to thank you for that so so cheers man thanks thank you so much it's uh, really appreciated and i i love doing this i love talking to uh, all of the artists that i had on and to the future artists that will come on it's uh, it's always a pleasure and um oh, yeah, to yeah. to have the chats and to see even uh, the human side of the people not only the art <laughs> side you know it, it could be sometimes weird i don't know like uh, like the this the stereotype of a uh, quirky artist uh, doing doing uh, their thing and um, yeah, I, I just love uh, to hang out, chat, and just have a, a plain good old time. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I've enjoyed the podcast. I haven't watched all of them, I must admit. I'm a bit late to the show. It's all good, don't worry. The, the ones I've watched have been really interesting. I've discovered you know, new people and uh, tips and everything. So yeah, I don't have quite as impressive a wall behind me as you do, sadly, but hopefully it'll change in the future. I mean, there's, there's <laughs> some good stuff, and, and uh, definitely will change in the future. My God, it's, Drew Strews and ignore that one. That's just some chat. That, that yeah, nice little Drew Strews in there. So that's awesome. So yeah, yeah. I mean, you got some, you got some good stuff. You got it even like signed, really big. So I, I don't have that. <laughs> yeah, in the house I've got a signed Blade Runner. Oh, print, there you go. Which, which is that's you know that's that's the one for me really. So the Holy Grail. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, you have your favorite so far from the podcast episode? Something you really enjoyed? Um, I like listening to Dave Merrill you had on, uh, like, I think last week. Yeah. That was fun. Um, Z, uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name right because I know I'll get it wrong, but I love her work, so it was great hearing her talk about it a little while back. Awesome. So, yeah, and I, I, like, I like hearing James chat about stuff. He always gives me the, the, the coolest compliments <laughs> well, when, it, when my stuff comes up, and one of, the one or two times it's come up. So, yeah, I just snap them out and put them straight on my website <laughs> awesome yeah yeah exactly that, that's that's what we're going for like being be like the, the critics we are here and like you know have have like on the movies uh awesome yeah. must watch you know this, exactly. this those yeah. kind of those kind of comments <laughs> we go for that awesome but uh yeah let's jump into your really cool atonement piece um it stuck yeah, out right fun. away when you posted it online i saw it man it, this this must be on the show and um yeah so uh Good thing you had time. I had time. A little short notice, I know, but um, it it That's worked so out well. Um, so great movie, first of all. Uh, and I like to see different kind of movies. I mean, most of the time you see like the Marvel pieces, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and all that stuff. You know, the the the, the big the big franchises are all over the place. And the smaller yeah. movies take a backseat. But I love that you've done Atonement. And um, how about you walk us through it? Because this is, as I, as I mentioned in the beginning, this is not a physical release yet, but it could happen in the future if guys yeah. bounce together and make this happen. Um, you, yeah, you know who to contact. <laughs> it's all, you know, I, I design all my stuff, pretty much all my stuff 
with screen printing you know in mind as the end result and, and this one's no different from that so it's kind of ready to go for that if anybody feels the need to do that i'd, I'd be happy to, to to do that so but yeah this is an amazing film i haven't seen really that many posters or one or two maybe from that so it seemed like a good one for me to tackle and uh, get some art out there for it mm -hmm. um, um yeah walk, walk us through the your idea what uh, why did you pick this particular scene or this setup and uh what was what was your yeah. thought process behind um, this? It's kind of it's kind of a, a kind of composition and an idea that I've used quite a few times um, recently. I've done four or five maybe where the, the whole poster is just one single image, and a lot of the times it it's literally one scene or even one shot sometimes from the movie. So I, I really like to do that. Um, usually they're quite still kind of images there's no action going on it's more about getting the feeling of, mm -hmm. of what's going on in the movie than actually representing some huge action scene or anything like that i mean why, the first one I yeah i'm sorry why, why would you say this uh, this particular scene is of that importance to you that's a good question i think i mean in the movie in this scene is really where the story kind of happens to start with um it's when the two characters that uh, it's, it's such a heartbreaking film, you know, these you've had these two characters, Kira Knightley, uh, James McAvoy, you know, immediately from from early on in the film that a they love each other and b it's not going to end well. And so when they actually finally meet and kind of uh, get it together, I guess is the way you might put it. Mm. Um, that's kind of a pivotal moment. And of course, in the picture, I've hidden a little briny character. Kind of spying on them which is how the story that that's what it revolves around is her seeing seeing things she maybe shouldn't have seen mm. and then getting the wrong idea and of course you know events roll on from there so that that's where the kind of the idea came from i i discovered that i really like doing intricate rooms and architecture and, and things like that yeah so I'm, this, I'm also a big architecture fan so i really appreciate yeah, you doing that this room in particular sort of said yeah, get in there and do all the wood paneling and all the library books and all this kind of stuff. And I love going on like a deep dive and trying to find all the reference for the uh, the, the the room or the scene. Yeah, you um, you uh, you actually sent me over some images from the set. Is that uh, did did you actually go there or did you find it online? No, I found these online. It's actually um, photos of a, like a room in a in a manor house in England. Okay. I can't recall the name of it, but uh, you know, there's look. They got their own website, obviously, and there's a few images that they they show of the particular room that where that scene was shot. Mm -hmm. And so I grabbed a few of those to to get the feel of how the room was put together, because you don't actually really see much of the room in the film itself. Mm -hmm. You don't see much above head height, so. I was trying to find out what was going to be above head height because I knew I was going to be drawing a lot of that. Mm. It's example, the kind of curve, the archway over the doorway. You never see, really see that in the film, but that came out in my research. That was part of it, so that I, I had to put in to be accurate. You know, so. is is that also like do, do you do like three D renderings of of those rooms to help you realize no, angles uh, or something? I, I've never tried that. I would like to maybe try that one day, uh, but at the moment I kind of do it by eye. I try a little bit of perspective gridding sometimes, but I'm not very good at it. Usually I kind of trust my instincts on that. I can generally see if, if it looks wrong or if it looks right. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I usually go like that. And it, it, you know, I think it works out. I'm hoping it works out most of the time. It can be a little tricky, like for, for example, the reference photos of the two characters mm -hmm. were from different photos. So I'm, I'm trying to balance uh, the sizes of the characters, the perspective on those characters, and make sure it doesn't look out of place w within the room mm -hmm. drawing as well. So it can be a little bit complicated, but uh, yeah, no, I think it works out. That's awesome. So yeah, that's a, that's a really cool poster and uh, the way you uh, presented it. Um, I have one question, because when you look at the reference images, you can see the... Um, you can see the door even open like that and uh, with a different background. You chose the library for uh, the one. I don't I don't remember exactly from the movie how it was, but um, did you change that? Because um, it, it is actually from uh, uh, the, the open door with the fireplace. And but the bet the, the, the you changed the fireplace to the library. Is that is that correct? I, I think I think it might be a case that 
my view is 180 degrees uh, opposite to the view you found. Okay. It's uh, that, that bookcase that's in the poster doesn't actually exist in the room. Yeah, yeah. That's built that extra. Um, ah, okay. I, th I thought you mix it together with the because you you have the this this one photo with a billiard table, I think it is, or something like that. Yeah, it's it's a billiard room. Um, and they obviously they took the billiard table out, put in the desk uh, as part of the set, mm -hmm. built extra bookcases that weren't there. So the, the the room in real life is actually quite different to what they actually filmed on because they, they expanded it, mm -hmm. uh, I guess, to fit the story. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I love drawing bookcases, so uh, I had to have the bookcases, the background. So. <laughs> All right. That's perfect. Um, yeah, so really really great piece and uh, how would you like to come it out like what what kind of uh, how many screens should it be and how many colors and stuff like that you have uh, um... oh crikey um off the top of my head i think it was about seven or eight screens i think mm -hmm. uh so that's what but it's all it's all kind of set uh, and ready uh, yeah i, I, I showed I, the i showed the layer that, file so. i showed the layer file oh, to yeah, yeah. yeah um i like to do that i've started to learn how to, to do that myself uh, there's been a few people that have given me some great advice on how to put my art together so it works for screen printing. Um, Kyle Baker from, from Baker Prints, he's been really good on email, giving me some amazing tips. Mm. Uh, Juan Sanyose, I'm going to get the name wrong. Yeah, Sanyose, but, Sanyose. Uh, he's he's uh, Mr. Separations, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I've quizzed him. He's given me some some little tips on Facebook as, as well. So that's really helped. And that's that's. I'd like to do that myself as much as I can. I'd like to do start to finish, idea to final thing as much as I possibly can without you know having to rely on anybody else to, to get it right for me. You know, I, I think I, I want to do that myself. So mm. that's what I've been trying to do. I've got quite a few prints uh, coming out later in the year that are similar to this, where they're, in, uh, they're a single scene. Mm -hmm. Um, let me think. There's, there's quite a few. There's, uh, there's a um, let the right one in print out, which will be coming out. I think that's going to be with Hero Complex Gallery mm -hmm. fairly soon. Um, there's a private one I did for Signs. Do you remember the Signs of the M Night Shyamalan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is one coming out. There was a private commission that's coming out. That's similar. That was a scene directly from the film, but I can. Did you? Did you take the scene where she sips on the glass or where, it, where it's on the TV? No, no, it's, do you remember, remember the scene? I don't know if I should say, I guess I can No, say don't, 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 don't say it, don't spoil it for no. anybody. We wait for the final art. I just wanted to guess and see if I, if okay. I it, shut it's in the dark. Was where four, the, the whole family is in it and they're doing a kind of specific thing. All right. But I did that scene from a different angle. So I kind of had to just imagine it and take photos of myself in poses. It, it was a nightmare. <laughs> you, you still got the photos? Yeah, somewhere. I'm not showing you them though. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that, uh, people know that I wanted that I'm doing an art book, but that was the second idea to do like a book of reference photos of all the artists for the oh, for yeah. the final prints they did. Yeah, that would be horrifying. <laughs> also fun. I think people would love to oh, see that. Fun. Yeah, there's some pretty awful photos of me in some strange poses floating <laughs> around somewhere. So yeah. So yeah, I, I will contact people and see see if we make that happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, so um, like I say, it's, I don't really think of myself as having much of a, an individual style. I, I like to jump around and do all different things mm. as much as I can. But this kind of style of the single scene poster, I really enjoy doing them, and um, I've done quite a few. There's this few coming out that I'm really excited about, mm. and uh, hopefully, you know, I'll talk to you about them sometime in the future. And, of course, oh, yeah. we will. We will definitely have it on the show. Awesome. Um, before before I let you go, I was wondering because um, we always do a little movie review. What's what's your verdict of uh, this movie Atonement? Uh, what did you really like? What did you maybe didn't like? Um, and uh, what uh, is your rating from zero to ten of this movie? It's ten out of ten, without a doubt. It's probably in my top ten movies. Awesome, I mean, man. That's probably 50 movies in my top 10 movies but it's one of them anyway mm -hmm. um i love it I, I haven't watched it for a while and i watched it again before i did the poster and it's just like i said earlier it's heartbreaking film start to finish still holds up it really does it really does i'm not really a big war fan a war movie fan i don't really gravitate that type of thing and i guess this has got the war element in it but mm -hmm. i think it's done better than any other film i've seen the whole 
there's like a, I don't know, what is it, eight minute scene in the middle there where it's all a single cut, the camera moves around in between characters mm. and you see this kind of devastation of what war has wrought on all these, these soldiers. And it's, it's not like, it's not the horrors of war. It's, it's the effects of the horrors of war yeah. on all these people. And it's just breathtaking that scene. It really, really breaks your heart. And that's before you even get to the end, of course, which is breaks it one more time. I, yeah, exactly. Just, just stick that dagger in just a little more. Oh, I love it. I love it. And the performance is incredible. The you know costume design is incredible. Mm -hmm. That green dress. I mean, the green dress was that was probably the main reason to do the poster is to do that <laughs> green dress. Do you like it's do you like, do you like to do fashion design as well? Maybe. I don't think I've got any skills whatsoever in fashion design. Uh, I like drawing fashion. I love doing fabrics and uh -huh. leather jackets, things like that. And there's like I said, a couple of posters I've got coming up. There's a lot of leather jacket work which I really <laughs> enjoy. Getting all those textures right so you, you you actually understand what the fabric is. I I love doing that, but no, I couldn't design anything. I could design a t-shirt maybe. I've done a few t-shirts. <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, um, really great work on the poster. I'm really uh, glad that you came on the show and talked to us about it and showed us uh, the layers, the details, and uh, your idea process. So um, that was thanks really so. riveting. So thank you so much for doing this. Hey, no. No problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks very much. Thanks. And uh, yeah, we will talk soon on your uh, next posters, definitely. And uh, have you back on the show, of course. And uh, yeah, now I will move over to James uh, and uh, we will talk about the latest releases from all the galleries um, of the last two weeks. So stay tuned for that. And we're out. James, my man, how you doing? It's super early, I know. And... Uh, it's all right. I've got coffee. I've got coffee. It's fine. Coffee helps. Coffee. And, uh, yeah. Coffee. By the way, I'm, I'm just... Have you heard of this thing called coffee? It wakes no, you I, up. No, I it's... never have it. I never have it, buddy. Yeah, it exploits people in all over the world, um, but it wakes us up in the West, so it's pretty... I'm, I'm not a slave to that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a slave to the bean. Yeah. I'm also a trained barista. You so, are a trained um... barista. Are you, are you shitting me, or are you for real? No, no, I'm actually, yeah, yeah. Let's let's see that coffee art, man. Uh, no, the microfoam is gone. I'm afraid. Oh, uh, okay. Ex uh, excuses. But yeah, got got a home, got a little kit at home, so I can make my espresso coffee. So when when are we seeing when proper, are we seeing proper milk one? When, when are we seeing the Marvel coffee edition? Or I don't know, whatever <laughs> you want to do. It shouldn't be a problem with licensing, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. We'll send that through the post. Um, we'll try and put that in a tube, just like pour it you, into a tube. It's, it's, and... it's available only um, at your place, and you you can make it obviously, but it's like twenty bucks a cup. I don't want that many people coming around my place. Like, you think they come in? You must be very confident in what you can do oh, with yeah. a with a yeah, foam. Yeah, they come in. They are coming for the coffee. Like the coffee tastes good as well. That's 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 the proper test. Oh, know? okay. Come for the art, stay for the coffee, or whatever. It is. Okay, so it's it's a James 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 coffee shop. That's it. Yeah, I've got a little coffee board like just above like all my coffee stuff. Um, it's really sad actually. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> as if it's a little coffee shop. I've got little <laughs> things that I oh, awesome. I'm I'm loving it, man. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I'll have to. We'll have to post it. We'll post it on the account or something. Please, please, uh, uh, put it on your account and tag me. I'll, I will share it. The coffee art for the people to see. Uh, so yeah. Okay, then I, I might do once, that. Once a week, I want to see coffee art, man. That's just a new thing. That's what we're gonna do here. The thing is, like, I'm using um oat milk, and even though it's the best oat milk, that's true. Uh, you can get for, but it's it's not great for coffee art. It's like you can do it, but it's not. It's not you as you can only defined. get the leaves and stuff, huh? Yeah, it's just not, you don't get the sharp edges, but it tastes really good. Like slightly sweetened um, oat milk, right. like it is naturally. No, I don't like sweeten it with um, sugar or anything like that. You know, have it All proper. Right, fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, let, let's let's get into some art, man. Some some other forms of art here <laughs> we got uh i thought it's going to be like a slow two weeks but we have some art for you guys that um it's going to start off as always with botnet gallery and botnet gallery you you bought something of those pieces that we're going to start talking about which is the beautiful beautiful 
um, Star Wars edition of, of, of Gabs's portrays. And uh, yeah, the, the first one is obviously Count Dooku. You can see that it's a fine Archie clay, 13 by 19 inch and a hand numbered edition of 135. And the variant comes in this yellow, is it beige, yellow, eggshell, whatever color it is. It's like cream or cream. cream and gray, isn't it? Or something? something like that, yeah. yeah it looks really amazing and fitting with the other variant. And this is a hand number edition of 50. Uh, which version did you get? And uh, is that is that J uh, James Hobson approved? I, they're both, um, they're both awesome. I got the Mace Windu. Um, so I think I might have to continue this and I might have to email Joe and see if I can get like the same numbers for each, I'll see if that will happen. Um, but yeah, I got the variant, um, and I'm very excited. I'm very excited about that. Um, it is 100% approved because I bought it. Hobson approved. Hobson approved. <laughs> Put it on there. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys liked it. Um, we, we joked around. I made that stamp, people. Show us some love in the comments if you like the stamp or not. <laughs> James, James is a little bit embarrassed about this, but I'm not. <laughs> so, yes, this is the only print I'm going to approve now this week. <laughs> so I don't have to do that again. So what? What else do we have in store, bud? <laughs> Uh, yeah, next from Bottleneck, um, The Lord of the Rings um, by Flory. Um, so yeah, a set of three. Um, these were 20, uh, 12 by 24, hand number edition of 175 for the regulars mm -hmm. there. And there was also a variant set um, limited to 75. Uh, Showing the journey, the journey of Frodo. The journey of Frodo. See him from behind there. Um, yeah, so it's continuing the, um, I guess the the Star Wars uh, uh, style that he did, showing the character from behind. Yeah. I think I prefer the variants on this one. It just kind of like brings the set together through through color. Same. They might um, go with that. So yeah. But I guess this is Hobson approved. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you guys this is Hobson approved. Uh and I'll I'll bring a stamp and stamp my face next time or something. <laughs> I just did it for you. I, mean, I stamp my screen. I, I I put it all over the screen right now, but maybe I can resize it so it's just over the print. Maybe that's that's the, the, the Yeah, idea there. I think so, dude. I think so. And then and then you wait for the comments. For people like, can you stop doing the fucking Hobson approve thing? And then, then you can take it off. Exactly. So, so maybe you should say it more often, so I annoy the people to take it off. I'll just, I'll just open up like tons and tons of accounts and just keep messaging you. <laughs> Alrighty, this is this is for bottleneck. Uh, not much going on for bottleneck this week. Um, I know there is a Disney release, but it can it came in very uh, late for for Mark Chilcott. So we're gonna cover it on the next podcast. But uh, yeah, moving on to our next gallery, which is Mondo. And Mondo has uh, some really cool soundtracks. And uh, they're really up to date with um, the Black Widow soundtrack uh, coming out by Lauren Balfi. And uh, the package design is by Mo Shafiq. And it's pressed on uh, two times 180 gram colored vinyl. Um, and uh, yeah, so this looks really amazing. The artwork, I love the, the, the um, Kyrillic letters on there. And uh, that's not all. We have also pins by, oh, I forgot to write on. I think it's all, is it all uh, Matt Taylor? Could be, right? I forgot to write that down. Yeah, I think, oh, was it uh, Tom Whalen or Matt Taylor? Oh man, I can't remember. Yeah, I think one, I, th um, I think the, the first two are by Tom Whalen, um, which are in his classic Marvel design, Taskmaster and Black Widow. And then the last one, uh, those are more the comic, accurate versions and then the last one the uh, uh, red guardian um is by mad taylor i think that's the difference here looking really cool and uh yeah pins oh, gotta love some pins huh <laughs> yeah pins i mean i love pins it's that's that's your review <laughs> yeah pins <laughs> <laughs> no that's your that's um, that's, that's, yeah, that's your review <laughs> okay um 
No, I just wanted to say how good the uh, I really like the soundtrack cover. Yeah, looks really great. That's it's nice. Great job. It was it's really similar to the thing that I was gonna do. Um, I was gonna do some fan art for um, Winter Soldier. Oh, okay. When that when that came out, it was like yeah, the ripped up um, like propaganda on a wall kind of texture mm. um that styly um with like stencils and art and stuff on the wall it's really good like it like the color palette Is that hops improved <laughs> yes it's hops and improved <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to another soundtrack uh, and a poster and both are by la boca and um la boca did this wonderful uh, wonder woman 84 um soundtrack um, by Hans Zimmer, the the package design for that one looks amazing, and it was limited to one thousand copies. I don't know if they're still available in the shop or not, but um, because the film was not that acclaimed, but the cover or at least the, the artwork for that looks amazing. And then we also have a screen printed poster for that one, which goes in the same direction. Thirty six. Why does it say 36 by 24? Is that is that the right size? No, that's the wrong size. 24 by 36. An addition of 200. Looks really, really cool. It looks really cool. Again, I really like the cover. Like, they've taken influence from, like, 80s covers, uh, vinyl covers, and used that. And it's, it works really well. Looks very hockey, I'd say. That helmet thingy. Yes. Great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that what you say? Great stuff? Was that was that your catchphrase? Oh, I've got so many catchphrases now, man. Yeah. I can't even remember. Great stuff. Maybe I should nice. Maybe I should like edit it out if you say great stuff and nice and just like you know like have like a <laughs> soundboard. Have a, have a James Hobson soundboard. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. That's that's like that's a good catchphrase from, from now, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. I like it. I like it. That's another yeah. one. <laughs> um, moving on to another Mondo poster release, which is really amazing. This is this is uh, one of my favorites of the week, and it came uh, or the, the 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 notice got out yesterday. wasn't even on the Mondo side; it was via ING. So um, check this one out. It's a Gunpowder Milkshake by Greg Ruth, looking incredible. Twenty-four by thirty-six. This is an edition of one hundred and forty-five. And this one looks like a dream. He he wrote on on uh, he put it on uh, Instagram and Facebook and everywhere. And he was saying that it uh, it was over the course of uh, four days that he did this poster, and it's uh... incredible. I, I I put in. I also have like his um his like work in progress images, which look so incredible. And it's a very dynamic. I uh, love the dynamic in this one. And I hope the film lives up to its potential in that way. Um, yeah, but and then there's another version. The poster makes the film look so fun. Like it literally does the job of selling me on wanting to yeah. see it because the poster is just like, wow, that looks brilliant. You know, yeah. it's like a poster actually doing its marketing job. Exactly. But at the same time, being like a brilliant work of art as well. Also love the likeness here and um, love the neon, the neon on this one. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, man. Greg. So yeah. Four days. Come on. Yeah, he's crazy, right? Do it in three. <laughs> <laughs> Take it so long. But yeah, this this uh, this is really great. And uh, yeah, this is it from Mondo. And we're moving over to Grey Matter. What, what do we have in store here? We have... Spider-Man from Grey Matter Art. Um, I'm just checking that I've got the right one. So, uh, yeah, the Mobius print. Yep. Um, I've just got a variant here. Yeah, it, yeah. is that correct? There was just a, like a number. Yeah. Comic number 800. Yeah, it's variant. a variant cover for the comic, 16, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 by 24. Um, and this was a Gicle on hot press bright paper. Um, in an edition of 175. So, um, is uh, the paper nerd hot, hot press, hot press bright? What's what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I've never used it. Um, I've never had a sample of it, but uh, I'm guessing because it's grey matter, they use a grey matter printing for their sheet clay. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll have to buy a 
print and find out. Michael, how about you send us one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take the next print, which is the Wolverine. The Wolverine. I think I would have I would have taken uh, Spider Man. Well, let's email Michael and ask for one of each. <laughs> okay, we we'll do that. Yeah, Wolverine Returns number two, also by Mebius, uh, 16 inch by 24 inch, hand numbered edition of 125 only, not 175, 125. But also looking quite amazing. The 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 idea behind the series, um, I read up a little bit on that. is really interesting how how the perspective of other parts of the world are on the, on those superheroes, which is really cool. I like like the idea behind. It. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, that's nice. This is it for Grey Matter Art. Just one release this week, and then we're moving over to Black Dragon Press, who also have only one release, which is what James. This is Killian Eng, um, the, the Sculptor's only. Chamber. The one and only Killian Eng. Mm -hmm. um, this is a weird-sized uh, G-clay print, although I think the, ma the main one is a 36-24, right? Yeah. It has, there, um, there are two, two different sizes, so you can pick, basically, like, that, like an extra large yeah. edition and a smaller edition. The small edition is also yeah. still big, I'd say. Yeah. I guess it has to be to for you to actually even like see the details in Killian's work. Um, like having a, a small one in a piece like this, so it probably wouldn't really do it justice. Um, but yeah, 27 by 18 and then 36 by 24. Uh, this is on the Han Hanemule. Is that right? You did, did, I get you it did right well. This week? Hanemule. It's um, drop back German approved. Etching. You're German. <laughs> <laughs> Drop mag approved. Um, yeah, hand numbered. Uh, it's a it was a timed edition. Both of them. Uh, yeah. I still don't think they said um, what the edition size. I think was. it was two hundred and fifty or something like that. Somewhere around there. Oh damn! There was like a, a shenanigans. Yeah. Um, I was I like was guessing eight hundred something like the last time. Oh no! I I guess like three hundred and twenty. I think. Why why is it why why is it so why, why is there such a difference? I mean, the, the botanist did like 800 something on a smaller size. Is it a size, maybe? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Because I really, really uh, love this one. Maybe it's it looks just, really good. Maybe it's literally the print. Like, I, I love that botanist print. Like, I mean, I, this, this art is fantastic as yeah. well, but there was just something about that botanist. I think people have been asking for it for quite a while as well. Um, Maybe it's literally just the art that made the difference. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe. Who knows? Or the colors. I don't know. The but red, people, the red like, we're out of lockdown now, and I, I'm finding people are, but, like, it's harder to sell on the aftermarket, supposedly. Um, with all the VAT like, with all like the we're seeing, and stuff. Well, yeah. I think people are just, like, they're using their money to actually go to restaurants now and things like that, rather than you know stay Don't at do home that. and buy. You could use it. Stay home, buy art. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think that that pays that pays a, a bit of a part in it. But um, yeah, uh, galleries are come like currently sorting out the VAT. There's something that the Vice have just announced. Black Dragon Press with mm. this print. Um, uh, they've announced yeah. that um, uh, EU. Mm. EU customers now don't have to pay the extra VAT. Yeah. By the way, and it's something that we're we're sorting out at more art as well. But it's it's costly for the uh the galleries. Like there's a monthly fee, and it's not a small amount. Like, uh, but it's important. Buy more people. That's the message here. <laughs> so the galleries yeah. can afford it. But people in Europe um buy from British galleries. You won't have to pay any more um any more now. And we're as galleries, like uh, we're we're paying for that um, mm. for that right. You know? All right. Uh, um, yeah. By the way, little fun fact: um, Killy, Killian liked some of my posts uh, like earlier this week, I think it was, or like last week, somewhere around there. Oh, your friends. I saw no. He didn't follow me, but I saw he was liking some of the posts on Drop Mac. Did he like any of the ones where you were saying mm, that Lord of the Rings? I don't think so. I, I was wondering if he saw that or not. What about the Matt Taylor? I um, 
YouTube last went last night went on to like autoplay and it played the Matt Taylor episode. Oh, okay. And you're like both discussing like yeah, some of the things he does like it just doesn't suit the. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not really too sure. And I was thinking, oh man, it'd be so hard if I was an artist to like hear Matt Taylor saying, yeah, I'm not too sure on that. Like uh... Matt Taylor said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, you agreed. I've I've got a Matt Taylor mug at the moment. Like oh, this is go. a one of one. Matt Taylor mug. There we go. Why is it a one of one? Because he put these um, these illustrations out like as a Christmas present, I think, okay. like two years ago. I think I remember. Um, and so I got them printed onto a mug, and then I put like Cantina soup on the uh, front. Okay. <laughs> Did I know that? You never told me. What? Why would I? <laughs> because we're doing a show together, buddy. <laughs> We did even the Mando, Maybe. the Mando show together. I know it's just it's just a mug that I have in my kitchen. I'm, I'll I'll give you a kitchen tour one day if you like, and you can see the you can see all the coffee station and all sorts. Yeah, it's, that's what people want. We're gonna we'll do an IG live, live. exactly, we'll do an IG live. exactly. That's what we're gonna do, son. Kitchen tour. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean. It's not like we uh, we over here at Drop and uh, James and Matt, they probably not disliking Killian Aang. It was just one piece that we were not that fond of. Oh, no. I, I love, like, there's hardly any pieces that I'm not that fond of. Um, I definitely like the Lord of the Rings. Yep. Uh, me neither. Um, uh, me neither. <laughs> That's the wrong one here, but I, I don't like it that much. <laughs> But I like other pieces. Oh, you, you, can, you can respect it. I, I, think, can re well, I definitely can respect diamond. it. I, I just like other pieces pieces more. And I think that's that, that should be the conversation that's, here that's again. Perfectly, just yeah, to put yeah, it there. Exactly. It's, not, it's not like we're disliking that's stuff. Perfectly fine. It's just in comparison to his other art. And you can objectively tell like that it's uh, it's well drawn, you know? Yeah. Like, but, you know, I, like for you... You don't see the film in that way, so you don't have quite that connection to that print that other people do. And I was like, yeah, we'll end it there. But it's great that he um, he started liking and seeing Drop Mag. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe I'm maybe I'll I'll try to contact him again to to do an interview, and then we can rectify this whole situation. Yeah, like maybe we'll, we'll try and get in contact for that for that piece that I was telling you about. That would be awesome. Yeah. We'll, yep. we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to our next one, uh, next gallery. Uh, even it's Nakatomi, and Nakatomi did uh, like an Ultraman release of two pieces. There is an um, there is uh, the Tom Whalen Ultraman 55th Anniversary Timed Edition, and uh, this one is 30 by 20 inches and has two metallic inks there. And uh, yeah, the time edition ran for quite some time. <laughs> I don't have the dates uh, in my head right now, but there's also a silver foil edition, which is my preferred version on this one. But this is a limited version of 66 because of the year Ultraman came out. So um, yeah, this uh, this is some really great piece. Tom Whalen knocked it out of the park again. He knows his stuff, especially when it comes to monsters and um, the likes. And uh, yeah. Looking, looking really great. So I hope looking a lot of people good. picked it up. Um, and because uh, I know there are a lot of Ultraman fans out there. And also going along with this one is uh, an Ultraman by Alex Ross. Also, uh, oh, not a timed edition, but an edition of 250 and for the 18 by 24 inch version. And then uh, the variant is uh, the, the larger uh, version of 24 by 36 which is an edition again of 66. Looking really cool, perfect Alex Ross style. You can see it. Um, yeah, great artist. Yeah. Like, oh, Alex right. Ross, just just the dude. Like, I just... Is that a proof? Sometimes, like, you can just... That is a, yeah, that is a proof. Um, a I, I'd only really seen this on my, on my phone. Um, but yeah, seeing it up large on the screen, it's just like, oh, man, he just reminded again, like, how good Alex Ross is. Yeah, indeed he is. <laughs> okay, so moving on to Spokeheart. What has Spokeheart in store? What has Spokeheart in store? Uh, it is Ian uh, Glaubinger. 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 Yeah. Ian. We'll call him Ian. 
like his friends do um with like we are exotic... we, we totally are right <laughs> <laughs> exotic um elixirs um this is a screen print with a clear metallic spot layer um it's a signed and numbered edition regular 300 uh yeah. there's a oh, very I... licious edition yeah by the way people please um uh, please check the website out because i don't know the images i got or the one at least is pretty shit. Let the me first see one the, the first, yeah, the first one shitty. yeah this, the yeah. second one's better this is this is the shit he gives me all the time to work from guys it's uh it's a hard yeah. life <laughs> a hard life yeah but that but i like the berry licious edition me too nice. me too um it's, it's a perfect and then the wood veneer yeah it's it's a perfect uh, kitchen print i have to say yeah absolutely love the uh, little like the the drinks you can mix in your little tiki cup because it's like all tiki based here yeah yeah this would be perfect for everyone who collects tikis yeah 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 yeah. so this is this is some really cool stuff and i really like it so um i had to put it in because you know how i love my kitchen stuff <laughs> which i still need to get stuff uh from you mr hobson yep but don't forget maybe. me maybe one day <laughs> one day Okay, um, next up is um, uh, Vice Press. Vice Press has put out something really cool and I already teased yesterday. Uh, the Great uh, uh, Snake Pliskin um, prints. One is Call Me Snake and the other one is the name Pliskin. Uh, size are A3 by Kendra Hope and an edition of 250 each. And you can get them as a set. The Crazy thing about this one, which I really have to say, is um, I talked to Kendra, and uh, for the people that don't know, Kendra is regist registered blind. She has retinitis pigmentosa, and um, she is uh, she's slowly going blind, which is like totally crazy because I had stuff with my eyes. I know how um, like just a scare for one day feels. So I can't imagine um, how it is if your life is going to be like that. But she um, knocks out crazy art or being um, um, impaired when it comes to seeing. And um, yeah, she uh, she moved on from she started with oil painting, but she is on a digital side now because like her vision is getting like worse and worse. But she uh tries to get that traditional oil style still um across with this with the digital with on a digital version and uh yeah she is a big fan of uh, escape uh, from new york and uh it's in her top five favorite movies for uh for decades and uh yeah she uh can't say good enough stuff about this one um as she loves and Escape from LA also holds a special place in her heart. And um, yeah, she, she's a big John Carpenter and Kurt Russell fan anyway. So that always works out. And uh, yeah, so she is going more and more into the movie poster or, or painting um, movie poster stuff that um, she got approached by um, Vice Press. And now they gave her a shot on doing portraits and then maybe soon also a movie poster. Um, and yeah, Vice Press uh, was really nice to uh, give this a shot, which turned out great. I got, I got even some of my, some of my friends who are not collectors. They were like, "Oh, those Snake Plissken ones, awesome!" And they were writing me messages, and basically I told them, "Go get them!" And uh, yeah, and she she told me uh, um, to shout out also uh, James and Matt over at Vice Press and um, through the canal as well for being so supportive. And uh, yeah, this is this is a great way of including people um, uh, different ways, not just from a different race or a different cultural background or whatever, but also um, including people that are impaired in some sort of way, which is really great. I love that. James, are you frozen? No. <laughs> are you crying? No, I'm not frozen. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an incredible story. Um, yeah, thanks yeah, it is. for the background. Um, yeah, I, no, I don't think I, I have anything. I think you covered uh, everything, every sentiment I have there as well. Yeah, no, I, I asked, mean, at the end of the day, these are just like brilliant pieces. Yeah, I asked her really nicely, and she uh, was so nice to give me the backstory here. Thank you, Kendra. Really appreciate it. Yeah, um, but yeah, these are um, these are a bargain as well. 
like f- for the art. Um, yeah. And, f- yeah. Why? Well, uh, well, yeah. Why wouldn't you pick them up? It's really, really good. Exactly. Exactly. Or put them up, pick them up, put them up, and be done with it. <laughs> That's your new catchphrase. <laughs> pick them up, put them up, be done with it. Exactly. <laughs> I'll I'll take it. Um, what else do we have? We have some really cool stuff by Mr. Durio. So James, first one is from Mad Dog. What do they have for us? They have the Knight of the Hunter. Um, these are screen prints in twenty five, uh, twenty four by thirty six. Um, the regular is a run of three hundred. I haven't even seen this one before. It came out yesterday, also. Uh, Or it was announced yesterday. Nice. Um, uh, There's also a variant um, which has metallic ink. There's a run of 225 on that one. Yep. Um, Which which version is your favorite here? Um, I haven't... Um, Well, having having not seen them printed, uh, it's difficult, but I would probably just go with the metallic ink one. I, I, I see. I see where it's here. I, I like. I like. Uh, I think I like the reg because, like, the, this kind of blue tone looks. And you're gonna uh, see. With the night, with the fact that it's like at night time. Yeah, but I'll 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 give the variant something something. Absolute, absolute proof. Proof. <laughs> did you have you put it on? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I didn't hear the voice. I was, I was confused. You were confused. Do you ever hear a voice? No, you don't. Oh, I thought I heard it the first time. Maybe not. No, I guess yeah, it was. I heard I, it in my head. I think it was just me. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. I mean, I I spoke. I, I I did the approved sound. I I uh, said that. Like I spoke it into the microphone. Did the did the voices wow, there? Man. Technology these days. It's it's, it's me. It's not it's it's not some sound I got off the internet. <laughs> Oh, there's no Hobson approved sound effect. What? I have to change that. Mm-hmm. I I was looking like whenever I was doing it, I was looking for um uh, like like a like like Siri like saying it something like like a robot voice was also uh, like already very deep, <laughs> but didn't find a good one that could uh, emulate this. So I just did it myself, I guess. <laughs> the best Siri voice. Here's some great content for everyone <laughs> is the irish the irish lady she's uh it's Very like lovely. it's the most it's it's so nice it's, <laughs> it's like oh, like sometimes the intonation and you know it just doesn't sound quite right does it but the irish lady is like spot on it's like scarily um it's because yeah. all the servers are in ireland <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's a good tip. Try out, try out the um the different accents on your mm. Siri and check out the Irish lady. It's 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 kind of strange. By the way, I, I found uh, uh like this this I, I forgot where it was that I found this voice generator where they have like I think like hundred hundred plus different people on there like actual like I don't know Homer Simpson or something like that and you can like type in anything and he's gonna say it in Homer Simpson voice. So it's like great. Uh, Hobson approved. Exactly. I, I'm not going to try it. No, I was it. just thinking the same. I was like, how would... No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, some more Durio for the Mima show, the the, um, the museum in Brussels. And uh, there were some 50 by 70 offset litho prints that, uh, of, of previous re- releases by uh, Durio. And uh, they are really amazing. I just wanted to point it out. They're still available um we have the rear window here uh which looks great but it has the only the only knockoff thing is that uh like it knocks it off for for from the real version <laughs> knock off knock knocks it off in terms of like you know <laughs> the yeah, throne okay. the throne it's a dodgy knockoffs but go for it <laughs> <laughs> from the throne of being the number one of real window prints uh by Dario. Uh, is the um, it got the title uh, like kind of title treatment uh, for the for the art show, um, and the colors are a little bit different. I heard it's like a mix between the regular and the variant, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and they are priced around I think seventy bucks, I think it was. And um, but 
the then there's also the jaws print which is very famous the um, and this jaws print uh is available now but also with the again with the uh, art show details and uh but it's only 15 bucks so i don't know i i ordered one let's see how it comes out and how it feels in hand um, uh, is I mean, are they going on like are they only up for a certain time i don't know i think they're still up i wondered I don't yeah, know. I'm quite tempted by the Jaws one, just to have that up sometimes. Yep, I, I bet. And then we also have uh, another one. I, which movie was that? I forgot which movie it was. Do you know? Le Normandy, the, the, the French one. I think it's a French movie, but I forgot which Uh But yeah, uh, this movie is also still up there. And then we have the Mar Martha Vineyard print um also in there and sometimes they i don't know they get a restock or whatever it's like super weird some sometimes uh it goes up again and then and it's weird but yeah check it out see if that still is available maybe it is uh still available at the later point in time but yeah this martha martha's vineyard print is also really great goes perfect where's that one from where is that uh the martha's vineyard one it's jaws no but where where can you get it also also at the mima site Oh, is that is that the screen print? Uh, no, I think it's also Litho. Oh, okay. It's also offset. I was going to say like that's uh, what another edition of. <laughs> no, it's, it's just it's, it's it is from the screen printed version, I guess, but it's an offset. Yeah, different. yeah, yeah. It's just a Litho. Yeah. Uh, but still. Then we have yeah. also the Michael Mann uh, Heat print, which was also the the was it a cover or the, the magazine that. Came with a poster but yeah it also looks really great also available there and then we have also metropolis that one's really grown on me yeah it, it is really cool i uh, it's like i don't know it's a shame that you can't own everything <laughs> <laughs> some people can. also have the metropolis available um there and yeah great print great print great print um, then we are done with all our shows and galleries right now, and uh, we are coming to our digital illustrations and uh, other cool stuff, uh, private commissions we've seen around the internet. And we also have a key art corner for you this week, which is a new thing James thought of. So, and I, I, it is also drop make approved, so it's in the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we st if you hate it, let us know and we'll stop. Yeah, let us know in the comments if you if you like to see more key art or not because uh, I think we it's a movie poster podcast so it should also cover key art. But there's a lot going around and key art is most of the time not the best. Shut up, man. <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> I didn't, did I say always, <laughs> James? James, did I say always? <laughs> not our fault man it's the studios oh man <laughs> okay so um the first one is talented mr ripley by snolly guster productions and uh yeah they uh or he i think it's a it's a him uh, he did the talent mr ripley in a really cool way liking the simple design but giving like the the vibe of the movie uh to me there's also a regular version and then there's this variant which I prefer in this case, uh, but looking really cool. I really like this one. Good. Good. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. So James, uh, James yeah, doesn't like, like the... stuff, I guess. It's not Hobson approved. No, 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 no. I was, I was just gonna say that like, I really like the um, the subtle. It's a very subtle um, face mm -hmm. in the smoke. Yeah. Great stuff. Which you know, sometimes you can like overdo that and yeah. have it too in your face but i think it, i think it's like just the right amount in that one no pregnant ladies again in the smoke so nice no no pregnant ladies in the smoke <laughs> um which you know i thought that was going to be a thing but no other people have done that so well their loss nice textures in this as well yep great stuff it's all goes through uh, moving on to our buddy from last week, Chris Valentine and his Superman print, which he announced on the day Richard Donner passed. So really sad to hear that. And uh, yeah, Superman private commission one of one uh, oil painting looks amazing. Really liking, liking the style. And yeah, Chris is going to come in and take the scene uh, from an oil painting perspective by storm. 
Yeah. Oh, I don't have anything more to add. Look at it. It's cool. It's very, very nice. Good to see another like uh, traditional oil painting artist like producing posters. Mm-hmm. Uh, alternative uh, posters. Yeah, Chris is what, definitely one to watch. Okay, sure. what's next? Um, what is next? I, I was tr- it was tricky. I was tricky. We changed the order last yeah. minute before we started. Next one is uh, Dark Side by Mexi Funk uh, for Sideshow. And he did this really cool um, print uh, for Sideshow, which looks awesome. And Dark Side, man, he's a Thanos, but uh, he's still got a, got a, a bad treatment, I'd say, even in a Snyder Cut. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the I love how I like, love how elaborate you are. Yeah, it takes time. It's taken years of uh, moving up. Moving on up. Um, moving on up. Yeah, man. Like it's Mexi Funk. It's Orlando's treatment of uh, of a good character. Indeed, it is. Are we not adding like I'm just confused because I like sideshow is like kind of a gallery. Yeah, I know, I know. I I did this last minute, so I it was also last minute. I forgot, almost forgot about it. But uh, so I just yeah, put it in there. I forgot about it. I just put it. Orlando, if you're watching, he almost forgot about it. But I didn't. I put it in, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Next up is The Godfather by Mark Aspinall, and uh, is it Placard? I think it was Placard Edition, or, or what the gallery, the, this French gallery is, but authenticated French licensed posters. And this one looks really amazing. I have to say, Mark Espinal uh, knocked it out of the park with this one. Um, I really like the idea of it. It's a really cool uh, thing there, and love the the like the the three parts to it. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts on this Mark Espinal greatness? Don't have the image, so I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you have seen it, right? I, I, it, it's so my bad. I, see, the tricky thing is, people. I while James was talking and like uh, bad mouthing me, I uh, I went to the internet <laughs> and <my> and <laughs> grabbed the photo to see. <laughs> but you know which one I'm talking about, right? Seen the, I'm sure I have seen this piece. Well, it's it's the it's the beige cream uh, one where 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 they at the wedding and uh, the Godfather is sitting on the right side. Right, let's, I'm. Just... Can you play some cool elevator music while I'm just like looking no, at the phone? I, I help you. I help you even in a better way. Look, look up. Look up at your screen, my friend. Look up at your screen. Oh, I have seen this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's that's a great yeah, piece. I really like it. Only only uh, point I have to say is, damn, this is expensive. I think it's two hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. What's the edition size? I don't know. Th- well, it's not that small. Oh, really? It's just very, very expensive. Mm. That's the only thing that is like kind of like... Uh... It, what is it? Paramount? Paramount Peters? I don't know. Maybe the licensing is ridiculous on that. They were like, yeah, we want to do a Godfather print. Maybe. And they're like, yep, 25%, please. 200 is still a lot for uh, for not an aftermarket poster. Sure is. I hope Mark. Um, I hope Mark is getting paid well from the two hundred. Yeah. Do the the get the sharing screen thing has like given me a massive delay. It is. Yeah. You're you're good for me. I'll I'll uh I'll I'll take it off. I'll, I'll take it off your hands. Okay. Take it off my hands. Wash my hands. Here you go. Hands a bit. You're back. How's that? Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm in sync, guys. This is it, like it's exciting. That was, that was too crazy, too crazy for James. <laughs> okay, oh, so, so who have we got next? Because I don't know the order now. Yeah, uh, everybody, get up! It's time to slam now. Oh yeah, I know. Space this Jam. Space I, I have Jam. to do two things. Two things here. Okay, I'll, while I'll we edit here. Take, First um, thing is happy birthday, Gareth Griffith, 
because he's one of the biggest Space Jam fans and he's in this commission by Layered Butter for um, the Tavo Montañez. Great, great, great Space Jam print. I love this one. Um, you can you can see it a little bit in the in, in the background here if you look close. This is all I think glow in the dark. All the monsters are glow in the dark here in the back. And uh, yeah, and Andrew Perucha, uh, he dared me to speak Espanol. <laughs> so uh, what am I gonna say? Um, Feliz cumpleaños, uh, Gareth. Um, yo yo hablo Espanol para Andrew Perucho. Was that happy birthday, Gareth? Yeah, and I said I'm speaking Spanish for. Uh, Andrew. All right. Andrew so I did a little bit of Spanish. Well, I hope like, that's okay. I hope that's okay, Andrew. I hope you enjoyed that one. I'm sure he'll he'll appreciate it. But um, yeah, go check out Layered Butter. Um, like it's a really high quality, um, alternative movie poster magazine. I'm sure people who are watching this. Um, yeah. Will know, we had, but anyway. People, we had him on. You can yeah, check. You, you can check back out. We had the interview. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's some really great stuff. Really loving uh, what they've done with the Space Jam print. It's. I wish I had the money. I wish I had the money. It's it's a great print. Never watched Space Jam. Never like interested. Me. Shame, 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 shame. <laughs> See, I need I need sound. I need sound for for that shame when I'm. <laughs> just, just shit. Get a soundboard that just shits on me. Yeah. No, I have the Hobson approved all all the great quotes <laughs> of the the great Hobson, you know. Mm hmm. Um, Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 one of yours, I'd say. That's another one of your little um My sayings. Little... Moving on, yeah, of <laughs> like, course, yeah. Moving we, we on. Have, we have to move on. <laughs> At yeah. some point, yeah, it's then just move great, on. I, I thought you were gonna like move the best on. Best way to actually move it on is just to say moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we it. we gotta hustle anyways, because because I have a I have a hair appointment in ten minutes. Whoa! <laughs> let's go. Okay. Let's finish it out. Finish let's out strong. On. Finish, let's move on. finish out strong. <laughs> What's next, James? Now now it's all key art. I don't know. It's all key art You've now. Got, like, oh, oh no no right. never mind. We we got forgot for, for one. Lisa Shamskaya, uh, she did uh, last night in Soho. Really cool print. Loving the the neon colors in this one. Lisa knocks it out of the park again. Great stuff. Check her out. Follow her. And uh, yeah, she she also she, she also she also mentioned us last night on Instagram, saying she loves the channel. She's a she's a fan, avid avid watcher. Loving this. Lisa's awesome. Um, I don't have to keep this short now, but yeah, Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright, what's this? Watches this, so he should share it too. Edgar, share it. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> And now we're at the key art corner. James, James' little project here because he's the man of key art now. And uh, we're going to start out with the latest Suicide Squad print, um, which gives us a Rosemary's Baby slash uh, alien SG poster we had on for uh, um, a little while back. Uh, yeah, looking real great. Also love the little, uh, the star of like silence. I think it's silencers, right? Or what is that? No, they're but they're um they're bullets. Oh, they're bullets. Oh, okay. They they look like yeah. silencers on like uh, the the tip of the gun, you know. Yeah. No. No. That. Yeah. They've got um that's ammunition. I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is it is a butthole or is it the starfish? <laughs> Knowing James Gunn, it's probably both, isn't it? It's, it's probably representing both. I, I don't know. Have Have you seen the trailer? Because because uh, John Cena's character mentioned that mentioned that in yeah. trailer. So yeah. 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 Definitely, that trailer is good. Playing on that that's, one, that's got me excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but really cool. But no, it's it's nice to see like um, James Gunn is really into like alternative movie posters, so it's good yeah. that he's like he he might have like forced um, forced Warner Brothers' hand and saying like yeah, get a load of this these out. You probably did. It's yeah, cool. Concept Arts did this, I think. Yeah, I I don't know that you you have you have to tell me. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, uh, Concept Arts. Um, I have a feeling did this one. All right. Great um, stuff. They're, they're stuff. an LA agency. Just in case you want to look into KR agencies for no reason at all. Yeah, or you can just hire James, Mr. Keyard. Yeah, Mr. Keyard did this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to Snake Eyes. And uh, Snake Eyes did a really cool IMAX poster. I loved I loved it in like the I love the neon, the black and the, the red neon uh, from the regular poster. And this IMAX one having it 
on the helmet i think that was a cool touch and still keeping like the coolness of the of the snake ice character i i really really like this one cool your thoughts mr keyard is it uh, yeah i i hope um snake eyes uh is good but is the, is, is the poster hobson improved yeah it's all right it's pretty good it's pretty yeah it's fine so not hobson improved okay so i'm not gonna stamp it stamp it here for you <laughs> yeah. okay it's all right isn't it it's like i don't think it would make me stop like if i was walking past that in the cinema oh, for I'd me it like, did oh. cool glad it did it's drop back approved <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drop okay moving on to donnie darko donnie darko for studio canal uh, germany and this one is by freya betts um not everything you see here is the the whole collection but the uh one in the corner i, I pulled it up for you a little bit bigger but this is um the blu-ray uh that um the, this this limited collector's edition and uh, this cover was done by freya and it looks really cool. I really like it. And when you look at the close-ups, they also made um, out of out of the the the, the um, rabbit mask. Um, they made a magnet, and they also made like out of the uh, like the costume and all that. They made a tat like a like a like a temporary tattoo. And you get the poster in the limited edition as well. So yeah, lots of lots of cool stuff done by Freya. I'm really glad uh, that this worked out with the poster posse and yeah, so awesome. Beautiful stuff, as you'd expect. And now we're going to say Candyman, 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 and we find a poster of Candyman here. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's um, hear yeah. about it. You, you tell me, buddy. Um, yeah, this is this is just like some... I'm, just, I'm pleased that they've gone like a, a little bit more... Um, fresh and alternative with with this promotion for this yeah, John, one. John Peel uh, likes also they're, they're alternative being brave. stuff. Yep, exactly. Yeah, it's good that, uh, yeah, he's having some influence on that as well. Um, yeah. All right. I haven't got that much more to say. Um, it's fine. I, I, I also like the poster, obviously. I'm not allowed to say that much more. Yeah. There's like, there's more like yeah, variations. Four more minutes and I have to leave the house. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm not saying. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, James. It's it, it's definitely a it drop maker proof that you don't say that much right now. <laughs> last last but not least, we have Nicolas Cage's new movie Pig, which looks amazing. I love the trailer and uh, the idea behind this. And uh, yeah, this is uh, John Wick meets Nicolas Cage and hunting for a pig instead of a dog. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, this yeah it sounds awesome. I can't wait to watch this. Um, yeah, same. And I just I like I thought this was a really interesting official. Very brave, like this, key art piece of kit. I think so too. And Neon Neon always has some really cool stuff. I really like the yeah. Neon stuff and what they're doing. Also, A twenty four goes along the lines, and uh, yeah. I I would love to see an actual like not not pig skin, but you know, like if you touch it, you can feel the hair. <laughs> that would be yeah. amazing. Well, I mean, like. Yeah. It has been done before, this kind of stuff, and I would love oh, to see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of marketing companies now are like spending money on on stuff like that, um, out of home, um, marketing. Yeah. Uh, it, apparently, like it has returned because people people share it online, and that's as good as a. Um, exactly. I mean, I would I would go an up advert. and touch it and film it and put it on Instagram and say, "Oh my god, how yeah, cool exactly. is it?" <laughs> it's a fact, though. That's your exact comment, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one was done by Empire. Um, by the way. Awesome! Great keyword. Just, key just front out there. So uh, for the for the key art crews who don't get enough like respect. Thank exactly. You. Thank you, James, for putting up the key art corner. And uh, this this is a great way. And I, I it's it, all the key art is not uh, uh, not only James's work. I I, I decided this week to to uh, uh, to to put up some key art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, James. I'm not gonna rush through here, but I'm gonna speak very fast. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for coming on buddy and uh yeah uh please smash that like button we really appreciate it to do uh, some really cool stuff and a little fun fact it's going to be promoted also later today probably um or tomorrow um but i'm going to do uh 59 and parks book release the art of the national parks next uh week on tuesday the 20th um 1 p.m cst 
Central Standard Time. This is when, uh, when I'm gonna go live with 59 Parks and Friends. A lot of cool people uh, stopping by. Um, for example, Claire Hamill, Kim Smith, little friends of printmaking, and uh, Rory Kurtz, who's been a guest on multiple shows on here. And yeah, looking forward to, to talking to them about their wonderful art for the National Parks, which is amazing. A great book, pre-order it now. 20th is the release. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.